County woman has written a book for parents and young children to help them navigate a world where smiles are now hidden behind masks. This book addresses a serious challenge for young kids who are still learning to communicate, but now have to do so with the added layer of face masks. Atia Collins reports. Dr. Hennessy Lustica, an author, mental health director, and professor in Wayne County, noticed how hard it's become to communicate as face masks hide people's facial expressions. To me as an adult, it felt a little bit scary and it felt a little bit anxiety provoking. And I thought about, wow, what could this, you know, this must feel really weird for kids and especially my own kids. I have three little kids of my own. Wearing a face mask is extremely important for safety, but as you can see, it has a tendency to hide our facial expressions and smiles and this can be extremely challenging for young children. Psychologists at the University of Rochester Medical Center have published reports helping young children adjust to anxiety and barriers face masks can create. Facial expressions give us really important information about how other people might be thinking or feeling. Uh, they give us really important social cues for when it's time for us to talk and, um, and not being able to read those may be challenging for some kids. Dr. Lustica came up with this book as a solution. Masks and Smiles follows the journey of a young student as they interact with bus drivers, teachers, and older family members. All of the helpers in the book all have like really cool masks on and, and behind each helper's mask is a really big ginormous smile is how the book kind of plays out. The book teaches young children how to look for nonverbal cues like eye expressions while also highlighting how masks keep everyone safe. Dr. Lustica hopes that it can be another resource to talk to kids about what they're seeing and how they might feel. I think that we just need a space to talk to kids about why the masks are so important and a space to talk to the kids about why, you know, how the masks keep us safe. But just because we have the mask on doesn't mean that behind the mask we're not smiling. Reporting, Atia Collins, News 8.